Hello! Welcome to another Sneaking the Small Tribes episode. Today I'm building a breeder base so that we can start getting a ton of personal tames. This is what all I have for the outline so far. After I built the simple structures inside, I went out and started my lunar biome TP. This is one of the most important parts because this is where people are going to always try fobbing from. After I got that done, I got down the wall and all the internals. Here's a little tour of what it looks like. I have all these floors set up in specific sizes so that specific dinos can fit on each one. On the bottom floor here, I'm gonna float a ton of the smaller dinos. That way I can run underneath them and get all the eggs easily. This second floor is gonna have gigas and on the other side, quetzals. This third floor here is gonna be filled with parasers, tech rexes, and other things. This large floor up here is going to be mainly raising area. And this is what the Eden biome wall looks like. This is how I set up my Giga Breeders so that I can have a ton of eggs made at once. So I woke up and started this base right away. I worked on it for a few hours just putting up the metal structures, then all the turrets, and then I started putting out all the dinos. The dinos took a really long time. By the time I was done with them, I had been playing for about 16 hours that day. So I put the whole base up, put out the breeders, got some giga eggs, and then went to bed. All the vents near our vent were full, so we actually had to build this across the map. I didn't figure it would be a big problem though because we had the teleporter in there. What I didn't think about though is since my tribe mates are at the other base most of the time grinding, this base is going to have an offline timer even though we're online. So I was pretty surprised when at 4 in the morning I got a phone call from my tribe mate and he said that we were being raided and that they were most of the way in the base already. It turns out the guy who was scheduled to be online for the time was AFK doing something in real life. So by the time I was able to get on, they had already taken out the entirety of one of our walls, as well as our teleporter, so we couldn't teleport over easily with all of our gear. They were so far in, actually, that we wouldn't have even had time to fly over from our other base to save anything. So I had to spawn in and try to save it from inside the base with no gear. So the rest of this video is pretty much me just frantically trying to get turrets off of some of the walls and move them in so that they can't take out the last generator too quickly. One of the enemies were actually tech rifling our generator when I got on, and moving the turrets was the only thing that saved it. Just about every time I would put down a new tech turret, the tech tapes would take it down right away, so I'd have to sneak around and try to place it in different areas so that they wouldn't notice right away. This honestly would have been a pretty easy defense if they wouldn't have been able to take out my teleporter before I got on. For the most part, none of these breeders had saddles, and a lot of them were so low level that they wouldn't even be helpful. The only thing I really had that was going to help is these shadow mains, but you can see here that it didn't really help me when I tried using it. <laughs> I've never actually been online meat ran before, so this is a new sight for me to see. Hopefully though, it'll be the last time I ever see it. While I was holding them off with the turrets, my tribe mate was back at the base trying to gear up and get ready to come fight these guys. Sadly, when he was all geared up and came over, he actually got killed on his way in, so he had to wait another spawn timer, and pretty much by the time he got geared up again, our base was wiped and there was no point in him coming anymore. I was actually able to kill a couple gigas and tech tapes, but they kept coming back with more. I didn't even have a harpoon and net to net the stegos, so they were pretty much invincible to me. At a certain point I started turning all the dinos on aggressive, just so that they would move around like crazy and get in the line of fire so that I could move around and put down more turrets without them killing me so quick. It 
It turns out if you have 34 aggressive gigas all level 89, it still takes like five minutes for them to kill one tech tape. It's crazy. <laughs> I was just desperately trying to hold them off until my tribe mate got back with some more gear. But sadly, it was a newer tribe mate, so he didn't even know where most of the stuff was in the base yet, so it took him a long time. Without gear, I still can't think of anything I could have done against these stegos. By the end, it was just a bunch of weird chaos with all my dinos running around and getting slaughtered. I wasn't even too mad though, because usually when something like this happens, it's because of a mesh, but these guys actually hit us legit, so congrats to them. I hit him with a quick GG and then went back to base. He was even nice and set it back instead of being toxic. Funny enough, that same day, the people right next to our vent got wiped, so there was now an open vent. And you know what that means. I'm building the same exact thing, the same exact way, just right next to our vent. Now it won't have an offline timer. Every single one of those bloodlines, I have a full cryo fridge of backup breeders, each. So, it's not even that big of a loss in the end.